Hi, this is Sharon from Crafty and Creative Ideas. Blogspot.com. I'm here today to bring you another one of my Wow That's Cool videos. This video is going to I'm going to show you how to make these little candy boxes. This is one of my uh, swaps for the 2014 convention this year. I will make another video for the cards that I made for the swap. But these are the two boxes that I made. I had used uh, the Day of Celebration cut with the Chalk Talk framelits. This is the paper is from the Moonlight paper pack and I've also used the Petite petals um, on these boxes and our new colors of course Hello Honey and the Blackberry Bliss. So we'll get started shall we? We will be starting out with a sheet of Whisper White cardstock for the box itself that is cut at eight and a half by five and a half. And now you're you're going to score that at put it on your scoreboard with the, the long side, the eight and a half on, on the top. You're going to score it at one and a half, four inches, five and a half, and eight inches. Then you're going to turn the paper to the right and you're going to score it again at one and a half inches. Then you're going to take your scissors on this little teeny piece on the end. You're going to cut, you're going to cut actually all the way through each one of these tabs up to the score mark. And then on the last one, we're going to clip that off and remove it. And on my blog, I have put this little teeny um, diagram so it'll help you to be able to cut the thing out correctly. Now, I, to speed up the video, I already put my sticky tape on there. On the right side, on the outside of the box, whatever you're using for the outside, you're going to put a piece of sticky tape here on that little teeny piece. Then you're going to flip it over, and on the left inside you're going to piece of, put a piece of sticky, sticky tape there too. Okay, when you go to do this, now remove your tape off of the one side. The easiest way to make this thing line up is to just fold this whole piece down flat and now when you bring this one over just make sure that the top of this folds over evenly on the top of the box and then you can just press and then it's perfectly lined up. Then you're going to flip in your inside flaps on from the side and then take off your sticky tape. Yeah, right. And then push down the other. paper from our Moonlight series, but all honesty is I because I had to make so many swaps my Blackberry Bliss papers both of them have been used up so I'm just going to substitute a different paper from this same pack um, I mean it's not going to change the packs itself but we're going to use um, these little bubble effects from there and it still has the basic colors on there. This is really a cool paper pack. A lot of neat colors. The Lost of, I mean all the new colors. The Raspberry, the Blackberry Bliss, the Hello Honey, and the Lost Lagoon are all in there. Great colors. In addition to uh, light grays too. Okay, the way you want to lay this out so that you get the most out of this paper is find your Stampin' Up! logo that's on the lower right hand side because otherwise you'll have it messed up on your box and turn that to the bottom of the right hand corner of the paper. Okay, now when you lay this out, your first cut you're going to measure at three and three quarter. Let me see if I can zoom that in for you at all. Whoop, wrong way. Okay, so you're going to line up at three and three quarter. And then we're going to cut that. All right. Then you're going to turn this piece and pivot it 
and you're going to do at two and a quarter. And then another one at, just make sure it should be two and a quarter because that's the, the width of your paper. And that gives us our front and back. Now keeping the Stampin' Up! logo on your right side, you're going to actually turn this to the bottom now because you don't you don't want this piece of um, of paper. So you're going to trim this at three and three quarter again, cutting off the logo, and then we're going to cut this at one and one quarter, and once again one and one quarter, which is just going to leave you a sliver left left over piece about so much. Let me zoom back out now. Okay, now we're going to take the piece that had the two and a quarter by three and three quarter piece, and we are going to put some snail on the back of that. I am using my the silicone mat. These are are so great. They're I'm I'm just trying to remember in the catalog. I'm very cheap, but very good because you never get all this sticky tape on your table or on your other paper. Then, so we're gonna just run some run, tape runner on the back of that, and we're gonna put one of them on the front of the box, and they're gonna repeat on the other four pieces. Okay, now that we have our patterns all the way around, I'm just gonna. Make sure your tape is sticking. And we're going to put that aside for a second. Now I have taken my Blackberry Bliss ink and I have stamped Happy Day of Celebration from the Day of Celebration stamp set. I've stamped that onto um, Whisper White cardstock, and I've been I used my chalk talk framelit, which you can see it laying here. But here's the whole set. I've used my chalk talk framelit to cut that out. Then I ahead of time I stamped my petite petals from the petite petal stamp set, and I used this flower with all the detail in it. And I used Hello Honey for those little flowers. Now with my 2014-2016 in colors, I'm using my Blackberry Bliss marker. And I'm just going to take, I like to use the smaller side, taking a little bit of accent in here and then I'm just doing some dots and just do a little accent again and the same thing on the last one and that one looks like it went right off the video here but so you can kind of that's what I ended up doing. And now I'm going to take my Petite Petals Punch. Now I'm going to show you a little trick with those flowers. I take my our piercing mat and I take just a regular pencil, the top of it, the eraser, and I take my little petals and I just take the, the eraser and I push down into the mat and now you have all the petals that are in the shape of a flower. Can you see that? Now I took my stamp that is yummy 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 for your tummy um, from once again the day of celebration and I mounted that onto the block. Then I took a crumb cake marker and using the wider side I'm going to see if I can zoom in on this for you so that 
you can see easier what I'm doing here. I took the outline first. After I went around the outside of the trim, then I also took the crumb cake on the little ribbon part. Okay, so now I have it all around the, the outside and I've got the ribbon outlined. Now I took my Hello Honey marker from the pack and I did the letters Then I took my Blackberry Bliss and I colored in the stars. And now I took my, took my Lost Lagoon and I did the Yummy Tummy. Okay, so we have Lost Lagoon on the bigger letters. Now I took a piece of scrap Whisper white card stock, and I'm going to zoom back out of here now. And then I stamped, and I held it for a few extra seconds than normal, just because of the markers. Okay, then I went and took my chalk talk framelit and cut out the yummy tummy. Now I'm going to take my day of celebration and my yummy. I'm going to snail up the back of the yummy and center it on the tag. Like so. Now I also took a piece of gray from the paper stack, that Moonlight series, and I cut this one inch by two and a quarter. And I'm going to just take that and snail that to the now taking my little flowers from, I put a glue dot on the back and I put one flower here and I actually would like a little more dotting in the middle of that and then I did another one on the bottom corner once you get them in the box you can see how much more you, you know, color you want added to it. And then I took this one and just kind of overlap that one a little bit. Oops, I want to go down a little. And the same thing. Just dab with my Blackberry Bliss marker. Now I just took our 4 by 6 cellophane tags, um, cellophane bags, and I took uh, the Hello Honey ribbon which is new this year, and I tied a bow around that. I stuffed a couple candies in there, tied a bow around it, and then I stuck the tag on top of that. Now inside the box, I took a plain old half a sheet of tissue paper and I curled it, crunched it up, and stuffed it down into the box. It holds the box nice and square, plus it really pushes the candy up nicely. And actually that box turned out just as cute as the stripe ones. I actually almost like it better. But anyways, um, that is my Swap 3D for convention. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, um, I would appreciate if you could do a likes up on it, or even leave me a comment. That would be great. Then I, then I know that my work is being appreciated. I so much appreciate you watching, and until ne next time, God bless.